Sorry, guys. We got off Addison here, Knuckles, so. reserve forward from Omaha, Nebraska. She's number 19. <laughs> you started Iowa State? Yes. When did you transfer? This is my second season. Okay. Why did you move? Um, just to be closer to home. Yeah. And, yeah. What do you, how good can this team be? Awesome. I think we have a great freshman class. Um, and both on and off the field, our chemistry is making huge improvements. So it's going to be a great start for us. Well, Coach talked about having more of a scoring punch in terms of scoring more goals. What's the key to that? I mean, it seems so basic. But well, how can you score more goals this year than you have last year? I think just the depth of our team this year is going to add a great initial difference. Um, both in the starting minutes and the final 10 minutes. Um, our dynamic movement up top is going to be a huge difference maker for us this year. What are you looking at? Um, definitely better than what we were last year. And like I said previously, um, the depth of our team this year is going to be an outstanding improvement from last year. Um, so just as far as the Big East goes, if we can make it in the top five, top four, that's a fair goal. How hard was it? Most of you girls that played at the collegiate level were winners, but have been having a season last year. You guys aren't losing. You still losing it as much as you did. How tough was that? That, that was big. That was that was a hard hit for us. Um, I think it was just different coming from the Missouri Valley where winning was what we were used to in a sense. Um, but the Big East has challenged us in all aspects. And so I think this year is going to be a really good year for us. Got a couple of exhibition games under your Kansas City, Kansas. Look at that. <laughs> the right side. <laughs> hey, so... Um, how big of a difference is the Big East and the Valley? Is it, was it bigger than you guys might have thought? I mean, I think the teams in the Big East have kind of a more sophisticated way of playing. The teams in the Missouri Valley are very tough and physical, and I'm not saying you don't see that in the Big East, but I think it is a little more sophisticated level play, and I think it challenges us. And also, the teams in the conference, I feel like, are higher ranked, so it gives us more exposure and a lot higher competition. Talk about the progress of the program. A couple of years ago, really rough. And then last year, kind of turned around a little bit. And now this year, um, kind of high hopes going for this season. Yeah, I mean, being here four years, I've definitely seen the, the good and the bad. My sophomore year was not a good season at all. corner of Wyoming. Um, it's actually kind of like a bigger town, um, just simply because like a bunch of kids from like a bunch of little towns came to my high school. So, um, my, my graduating class I think was 450, so there are quite a bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Exactly. In terms of expectations, can you guys have this year, knowing what's went through last year and now building from this year? Um, okay, well, um, yes, or not yesterday, uh, last year was actually, like, it was a really, really awesome, like, stepping into the Big East, um, I think that we have a lot of talent on our team, and I think that, like, us being able to, like, transition from the Missouri Valley and come into the Big East was, like, a huge, huge stepping stone. What was the second part of the question? Okay, um, I do believe that we have, the, like, the capability of winning the conference, um, I think that it's going to take, obviously, a lot of hard work. Um, the Big East is very, very competitive, and I think that it's going to take, like, everything that every player has for us to be able to get there. What's the biggest thing you guys learned from last year? Um, I think one of the biggest things that we learned from last year was probably um, finishing out until the end. Um, when we moved into the Big East, like those girls are very, very competitive. The talent is very, very good, and I think that that was one of the things that, like, not saying that the Missouri Valley wasn't like that, but I think that that was one of the biggest things is you have to fight through every single minute. Were these exhibition uh, game matches about your club? Well, I think you know, there's just that fine line. I think Arkansas was a game that that exposed us a little bit, which which is what we wanted. We wanted to play somebody that was a veteran team, NCAA tournament team, and that was physical. And they, they really uh, exposed us, I think, a little bit in terms of just the 
physical part of, of, of the game. I thought when, when the game got settled and we played, I thought we were as good, if not better. Um, the Missouri State game, I think, was a little bit different in the sense that it, sh it, sh it was a, you know, not a typical soccer game, but, you know, they had two really good chances and scored on both. We had probably four or five, and it didn't score on any. So the fine line of dominating a game and not being able to, to put a team away. So, you know, we could use we could use another couple. 